Meet Pinky. She's a double robot being operated by Destiny, a ninth grade student in the hospital right now receiving dialysis. I use the buttons, well, the up and down buttons, and left and right to move it forward, backwards, and steer it. Well, and move it left and right. Destiny has renal failure and needs a new kidney, so she can't attend class like most students. But thanks to the $4,000 technology purchased by BGE, she can attend Spanish class today and get the personalized instruction educators say is imperative. It allows that student who's homebound to not be in school to literally move through the hallways, in and out of their classrooms, raise their hand, ask questions, and be involved in the learning. And again, is they're, they're back around their classmates, and that's the part they miss the most. The Anne Arundel County school system has 13 of these double robots, and two of them are being used at this school. James Panarizzi used his double robot last year following a leukemia diagnosis and knows all too well how important the video conferencing technology is. Without the robot and doing home and hospital teaching, it was mostly me just getting thrown in work, not really with much help. Being on the double robotics robot, it really helped me into, got me into the classroom. I was able to connect with my friends that I haven't talked to in a while and I was able to understand instruction way better. Destiny hopes to return to the classroom soon, but until then, she'll communicate through Pinky. Her mom says today's dedication was the most she smiled in a long time. Theo Hayes, WBAL-TV 11 News.